Hello, my name is Dr Emma Sharp and I'm a lecturer in psychology at the University of Derby. So this course will be talking about obsessive compulsive disorder. So obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD is a mental health disorder in which a person um, experiences unwanted or intrusive thoughts and um, compulsive behaviours. So the important thing to emphasise here is that OCD is not as simple as someone liking things really neat or tidy, uh, but the compulsions and obsessions become so severe that it can actually interfere with a person's life um, and it can mean that they are unable to concentrate at school or even hold down a job. The interesting thing about OCD is that it can affect men, women and children equally. Um, OCD can develop during puberty, but it typically develops during early adulthood and it's characterised by two main features, obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviours. Obsessive thoughts are unwanted images, urges or intrusions that can repeatedly come into the individual's mind and cause severe anxiety and distress. So the obsession is cognitive in nature, so it affects the way a person thinks. Whereas the compulsion is the behaviour that the individual feels compelled to perform as a result in order to reduce this anxiety. So the compulsion is a behaviour. Most people with OCD have both obsessions and behaviours, but it is possible to have just one or the other in order to get a diagnosis. However, the obsessions and compulsions are typically linked. So, for example, if an individual has an obsessive thought that their house is going to get burgled, the compulsive behaviour is normally associated with that. So, for example, they may engage in, in checking locks and windows in order to prevent um, an intruder coming in. As it stands in the current DSM-5, um, OCD is categorised um, within its own category of obsessions, compulsions and related disorders, um, alongside a number of other similar disorders which share very similar characteristics including trictylomania, which is characterised by excessive hair pulling, excoriation disorder which is picking of the skin and finally hoarding disorder which is the compulsive need to hold on to items that may have no kind of significant value and being unable to part with them. And so all of these disorders are really similar and can be treated in a very similar way.